If I tell you that the file that is behind me that contains about 150 tasks, that has the Gantt chart, that has resources, that I didn't key in any of that information, but that the program itself, just by clicking here up on this specific button, went to an Excel file and imported all that data automatically. So, do you believe me? I must say that I feel a bit challenged. So let's try it. So I come here, press the button, and now we are going to see what really happens. Oh, I got the message, import completed successfully. So let's see. Hey, I got all the tasks, they are here. Let's see what about the Gantt chart. I am excited. So let's go scroll to task. Hey, incredible. Narrowing this, they are there. They are there, they were imported, you, you see, you see. And we even have all the resources that were imported and all the data. Maybe you are wondering when this is useful. So one of the first case, it's if you have often to get uh, your data from Excel files, this is really a powerful tool. The second situation that for me is important, I'm managing quite complex projects where we have to do the follow-up. By doing the follow-up or the tracking, if you prefer, we have, for example, other systems that do the accounting of hours spent by resources on the project. So on a regular basis to do our weekly and monthly report, we need to import information. So this is a basic mechanism that we are using. Of course, what I will show you here is really the basic part. What we use for tracking and monitoring is way more complex. So with this, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's Kristen from Vision 6D. For me, it's always a pleasure to show you some of the knowledge I have to level up your skills. I train and I consult for companies. Now, I'm pretty sure that you are interested to see how I realized this. For that, I have here an Excel file in which you will see the tasks under the name column and then duration and then the start and finish dates as well as a column with resource names. On the other side, I have here MS Project that is open on an empty file. MS Project will go and get um, the Excel information from a directory or a folder in which I have the highlighted file that is here. Schematically, I have here my MS project environment, which contains a process. The process is a macro, and that macro will read and extract the information from an Excel form. This can also be done with directly a text file. I'm now into MS Project and you see that I am under Developer and within the Developer I will select here Visual Basic. The macro is already defined but to do that I came here and I inserted a new module. The module in my case was named Module 2 but I renamed it here below into import O2. And here you see the content of the macro. I can now run this macro by coming here or by pressing the shortcut F5. We see that the import was completed, but we still don't see anything into MS Project. So I'm going to say here, okay. 
And we see that MS project is working on something. And now we are back into the Visual Basic Editor. So I'm switching back to MS project. And you see that we have all the tasks that have been imported. Now I can scroll to task here and we see that we have the different elements and planning elements that were imported. We have also the different resources. Now what we have to do is to add the button. For this, I'm going into File here and I'm going down to Options and within Options, I'm going to add a button to the Quick Access Toolbar. You see that there are many comments that we can add to that bar. Here up, I can also select macros. And you see that we find the macros we have defined in this file. I'm simply going to add that macro here inside. And now we have the button here up. I can now just test it. The import is already completed and we already have our tasks imported here in MS Project. I scroll down to the task to see that we really have the GAN chart and check that we also have the resources. With that, you see that this principle is quite simple. Now, what you must know is that this is just the beginning. Um, in my case, I use this, for example, in some complex projects that I'm uh, working on within the construction sector, and we regularly have to import data into MS Project in order to do the tracking and, of course, the controlling of the project. For me, it's always a pleasure to show you some tips or tricks and to help you level up your skills. Ask me questions, make remarks, maybe you have another usage of this. I'm really, really interested. It's Christian from Vision 6D and it's always a pleasure to see you in a further module. Bye-bye.